afternoon, everyone. Today, I'll be speaking from the Advanced Communication Manual, and this is Project 3, the demonstration talk. Today, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to identify, disassemble, clean, and lubricate your Glock 26 9mm semi-automatic weapon. Now, the Glock 26 is a very easy, oh, no, I don't want to go on this guy. The Glock 26 is a very easy to identify weapon. You notice that it has the square slide, there's no hammer, has a concave trigger, trigger guard so that you can press it against something for stability. A lot of people say Glock doesn't have a uh, safety, but it actually does. This small trigger has to be depressed down to the same level as the main trigger before the weapon will fire. The weapon fires at two, five, and seven pounds. You've also got the distinctive grip, which is angled forward, so it practically reseats the weapon every time you fire. Now you see a lot of Glocks in Hollywood. You've got women with Glocks. You've got slightly out of focus Glocks. You've got Glocks with accessories. Let's talk about accessories for a moment. You could add a camera to your Glock. You could add a stock uh, and trigger grip to your stock. You can add a 15 round magazine, a 30 round magazine, a 50 round magazine, and a zombie killing magazine. <laughs> but no self-respecting assassin in Hollywood will be complete without a silencer. <laughs> However, there are drawbacks. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you're up against a bear, do not shoot that bear in the head because that bullet will bounce off his skull and he will really be upset. Glock's in Hollywood. This is your test. Glock? Is that a Glock? No. Not a Glock. You passed. But what Hollywood doesn't show you is how to disassemble and clean that weapon. So, here we go. I'm going to show you how to disassemble and get access to your barrel, your frame, your magazine, your slide, your spring. You remove the magazine by pressing the release button. If you're a right-handed shooter, it releases on the left. If you're a left-handed shooter, it releases on the right. Then you clear the weapon. That means pulling the slide to the rear. You check it physically and visually. And then you press the slide release to let the slide go home. That's the slide release right here. Same as there, okay? So, what you do then is you point your weapon in a safe direction. For me, it's about six inches off the floor, through the wall, outside, through my wooden deck, and into the dirt. Then you dry fire the weapon. Squeeze the, clip, squeeze the trigger and you hear click. Now let's talk about disassembly. You locate the duck's bill, and with the webbing of your thumb, you put it under the duck's bill. And then you wrap your fingers over the slide so that it's touching the rear sight. <clears throat> Next, you give the slide a rearward squeeze, and then you will pull down on the slide lock bar. From that point, you'll be able to push the slide forward and off of the weapon. You'll notice that the front of the slide is here, where normally it's way back here, so it's almost off the weapon. So once you have that done, you would turn it upside down to locate the spring. Give the spring a pinch and it will drop right out. Since the spring is attached to the barrel, when you pull the spring out, it will fall right out. And the barrel has three major parts, the barrel hood, the barrel lug, and the barrel itself. So now you know how to get to the barrel, the frame, the magazine, the slide, and the spring. Let's talk about cleaning. We'll begin with gear. Good old fashioned toothbrush will do it. 
You want to use that when you want to get rid of the big pieces of carbon. Cotton swabs or an old t-shirt when you cut into pieces. What you do is you put those pieces into the eyelet and you can scrub the inside of your barrel. Or for uh, when it's been a longer period of time since you uh, fired your weapon, you could use a scrub brush. Now some people like to use a boar snake. You take the weighted end of the boar snake, you put it through the breech end of your barrel and pull it straight through. One time and you're done. And of course you want to have a good quality gun oil. <laughs> Now this is your barrel. You want to lubricate the lug. You want to lubricate the barrel itself, one drop. And with the, as for the inside, you could use either the scrubber or the pads. And from the breech end, you would go in and out a couple of times. And then, like I said, with the boar snake, you enter from the breech end, pull it straight through one time. As for the frame, You've got four lubricating points. You use one drop here, 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 and here. I'll demonstrate. One drop. This area here, I want to blow that up for you. You want to put one drop in between the connector and the trigger bar. This whole thing is the trigger bar. If you only have one drop of lubricant left, that's where you put it. That spot right there. Magazines. They're so inexpensive, most people just throw them away and buy a new one. The slide. Never ever let any lubricant get into the firing pin channel. Instead, this is where you'll lubricate. You'll be able to identify it because that's where the wear marks will appear. Spring assembly. Hit it with your toothbrush, one single drop, wipe it on the outside, you'd be good to go. So now you know how to identify, disassemble, clean, and lubricate your Glock 26 9mm semi-automatic weapon. And at this time, I'd like to thank Hollywood for getting it right this time. It's a great weapon. Thank you.